Welcome back. We're here looking at uh, indices, and it's going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday in June 29, 2021. If you like support the channel, you're going to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button, and see our new videos. And we'll start by looking at the SP 500. And as you can see, we are up just a bit today. We are at 4,290, and we are basically at the top of the bullish band. So we are approaching 4,300, and I would it be strange whether or not if we had a pullback at that point towards the middle of the bullish band, as we are getting fairly overstretched here in the in the um, in the bullish band actually. So technical indicators they are still favoring the upside. MACD is still bullish. The CASIC is still bullish. The CCI is still bullish, and so is the RSI. We have still some room to the upside before this gets overbought. So um, yes, guessing. 300 4, is the area where we'll pull back and uh, the pullback have been bought into highly at the middle of the bullish band of roughly 4233 and also the 50 moving average down here at 4190 if we break below these uh, counts here then we could be heading back towards 4000 but at this point it doesn't seem that there is any news that is going to um make this market move significantly to the downside so let's look at the dow jones so dow jones uh pulled back quite uh quite a bit today and uh, found support down here at the 50 moving average and uh, that was also kind of expected as we have been rallying quite significantly for the last uh, week and a half so at this point, if we bounce from here, then we could be, and we take out the previous highs here, then we could be heading back towards 35,000. If we break below the 50 moving average, then we could go to the bottom of the bullish band at uh, 33,572, and then much lower than that. Technical indicators, we can see the MACD is flat, the stochastic is bullish, CCI is barely bullish, it's technically flat, and the RSI is flat at this current stage. So let's look at the NASDAQ. So the tech sector has really been crushing it today. Um, most of the companies that have been um, have been uh, in a downfall the last two three months they are really recovering, and you can see that basically in the Nasdaq. It looks like we are heading towards the fifteen thousand, but at this point we are up more than one percent today, and we are overbought. So pull back towards the twenty exponential round 14,000. Uh, 14, that wouldn't be surprising if we saw a move like that in the next few trading days before continuing to the upside all of these pullbacks have been bought into we are in uptrend there's no question about that that since the bottom here of last year this has just been rallying to the upside occasionally we have these massive fall but it's only when this market just gets completely out of hand it did that here here also here and uh, we are most likely going to see that again if this continues and therefore it's fairly uh, risky to buy it at this point as we are at the top of the range and lower bond so pullbacks are are basically what people are waiting for so let's look at the german dax so german dax uh, rallied towards 15,657 and then gave all those gains back and now we're ending up in red so if we continue to fall we will most likely find massive support down here at the 50 moving average if that breaks then 15,000 uh, will come into play and that should be the bottom of this market if that breaks then we are probably looking at a massive fall to the downside we're still in uptrend and there's no real uh, sign that this market is going to collapse anytime soon um, so pullbacks will mostly be bought into at around the 50 moving average technical indicators they are not looking very nice macd is bearish stochastic is bullish cci is a bearish and so is the rsi so let's look at the the uk footsie so this got really hammered today and we did break the 20 exponential we are heading towards the 50 moving average and uh, this is probably a, where buyers will come back in we can see here when we drop towards the 50 really bounce from there same goes for here same goes for here 
So that's uh, area of interest. The same goes are also here. We did go below it, but then really rallied to the upside. Technical indicators, we can see the MACD is still bearish, the CASC is bullish, CCI is bearish, and the RSI is bearish as well. So yes, that is kind of what we are looking at at this current day. We have a little bit of pullback, not significantly, and still we're right underneath the 20 expansion moving average. So let's look at the China 50. So China 50 is struggling here in the middle of the bullish band, and uh, we are also approaching the end of the month. Usually that means that we are going to see this rallying. We can see what happened last month, the month before that, and the month before that tends to rally at the end of the month, and then at the beginning of each month, it has a decline. So, so yes, that is to be seen. We are have been rallying since the bottom here at 17,000, give or take, and we are up, game up to broader 17,700, give or take. So at the moment, we fell towards the 20 exponential, found support there. So question is whether or not we managed to break above the middle of the bullish band and head towards 18,000 and then beyond that. Technical indicators, we can see the MACD is still uh, bearish, stochastic is bullish, CGI is bearish, and so the RSI is flat. So, hope you find this helpful. You want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And good luck, and thank you very much.